Right, so today we're going to um, give a demonstration of uh, how to install some Magrite material across this chimney breast here. It's quite a small piece, a uh, simple job for a one person to do. And I've got some um, tools here that um, I'll be using. First, a spirit level to describe a pencil line that's going to be square with the floor. I'll be using a scraper just to denib the walls. Um, and the reason for that is because any tiny pips or um, pieces of uh, foreign matter on the wall, we don't want it to create a, um, a surface imperfection when you're going to be writing on that. We've got a spreader here, which we will use to flush any air bubbles out. We tend to use that with a microfiber cloth, really just to protect the surface of the magrite material. We have two types of paste here, a mag VOV and a mag fix. And for this wall, we're going to use a mag VOV because it is uh, something that um, dries without the need of oxygen. It's deliberately uh, made for a non-porous surface. So this is a painted wall, it's non-porous, and this material also is non-porous. So they come together and the mag VOV will dry beneath. So with the box removed, we now have the material here in front of us. Um, the Magscape's Magrite materials actually come in 3, 6, 9 and 12 metre lengths. Uh, this particular roll uh, we've actually been using for other pieces of work around the building, so it hasn't been cut square. So an important part of preparing for the installation of uh, Magrite is that you pre-cut uh, the sheets so that you have a short amount of overlap. And the reason for that is that we don't want the weight of the material to pull away from the wall after you've put it up. So we're going to trim this now to a 1.7 metre width, and uh, I'll join you in a minute. Here we have the paste um, that's been put onto a piece of paper to protect the work surface. Um, it's the Mag VOV. We're now going to use our brush and cover the wall. So we can begin to load the Mag VOV onto the wall. Uh, we're often asked, you know, how much paste do you need to apply? It needs to be a good coat. Um, you run over the edge by half an inch or so. Um, so, so long as you can see streaks on the wall, you know you're, you're getting a, a decent load of paste. So now we will put up the material onto this uh, wall surface and I'll be using my spreader microfiber cloth to flush the air out as we put the material up. paste will give you a little bit of movement, which is useful, <laughs> uh, just to make sure that you have set it square to the line that you've drawn. So, uh, you see that the, the material is holding itself quite comfortably. We'll use the spreader to do sweeping curve marks from the centre out to the edges. You can kind of hear the air flushing out. The more pressure one can put on the material as you do this, uh, the better result one finds you get. Look along its edge by a reflective window just to see if there's any areas that you've missed. The better prepared the wall is, the better the writing experience people will have. And give a little place on the surface just to use a microfiber cloth to clean that uh, that's damp with a little bit of detergent. And that is it. We'll let that dry. Here we are in front of the Magrite material that I recently put up. It's about an hour and a half later. Uh, the adhesive has dried, it's smooth and flat. It's actually ready to be used. Um, the edge here, we've just trimmed with a craft knife and we'll probably put some aluminium trim on the edge uh, to finish the wall once we've um, completed the wall. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we can start to use magnets um, anywhere on the surface and indeed um, dry erase whiteboard pens which um, will write on the surface and because this is a matte magrite finish it's not something that we can smudge. The only way to remove uh, the ink is to use a microfiber cloth and any generic uh, whiteboard spray. So just by spraying the ink and wiping it removes it entirely. This is uh, it's very important for um, businesses that want to have ideas placed onto boards and they really want to keep those ideas on the walls until they're ready to remove them. 
otherwise one can think about using um, other magnets that actually serve a purpose. So there's magnets that can hold pens, for example. Uh, there are magnets that could possibly have branding on, uh, company logos, uh, or indeed be made out of different um, materials, like acrylic mirror, or indeed uh, foam, which is very popular for magnets for children, as this particular one has an antibacterial um, content. Uh, that's really it. Um, it's ready to go. This is, this is how quickly one can uh, put wall covering on a wall and find you've got interactive uh, messaging uh, from the get-go.